one, I have been noticing that y'all have been enjoying my what I eat in a day videos. So I thought I would bump things up and show you guys what I eat for the entire week. I'm gonna start off with Monday. I am about to have breakfast and I just got these egg white frittatas. They've been in my freezer for a moment. So I thought I would try them out today. I'm gonna heat up the oven and start prepping them. I feel like this meal is the perfect blend of like breakfast and lunch because it's like an English muffin from Ezekiel. It's like flourless and grain free and it's sprouted. The avocado is also like pretty breakfasty, but then it's pretty lunchy because it's got the caramelized chicken. It's so good. It, it tastes like a banh mi almost. I saw her told me post this on her what I eat in a day video. She had apples and almond butter as a snack and it looks so delicious. So I wanted to try it out for myself. Mm. Tonight is inspired by leftovers. Having um, this shirataki pasta with the everyday sauce it's pretty much like a bolognese. And I got some of the roasted vegetables. This is the last of the green beans. Mm. Ben made me breakfast this morning. Mm. I liked this snack so much that I'm gonna have it again today. My apples and almond butter. You want some apple chipotle? Whaley just dropped off these oranges from her orange tree. And so I had to try some. So there we have them. sliced oranges. We're doing a barbecue today. We're definitely having an earlier dinner. It's only 4.13 now, but the weather is just so nice. And we bought all this produce that will just really be delicious on the grill. And right now I'm just chopping up some baby potatoes and then Ben's gonna make his famous potato salad. I know your mama told you don't let guys go running off with your love You don't even open up, so your heart can't get crushed You've been let down so many times you wonder if you need to get up You done been through too much I feel like having leftovers for breakfast I've got half of the veggie burger from yesterday I've got a portobello bun, potato salad, and the corn My word, my brother just dropped off these handmade kimbaps 
that he made with his girlfriend. Oh, they're like little pieces of art. And with kimbap, I love to have it with ramen. So that's what we're gonna do for dinner. But I am using the shirataki noodles instead of those because we're gonna get my carb intake over here. But look how pretty they are. And this is what I'm gonna be having for dinner. Looks like a really great combo. These ones are exceptionally large, but you get the kimbap and then you dunk it and then you eat it. So I'm having a very random breakfast lunch. I've got four pieces of kimbap, some leftover pasta, the last of the potato salad, and corn. <laughs> I always get so hungry after I film. I'm not sure if I would do this combo again. Mm. The strawberry one's really good. I feel like this would be better if I put bananas on here. I don't wanna cut bananas right now. My brother brought these like, they're like a Korean Ritz cracker, but they're so cute and they're absolutely delicious. Mm. All right, Ben and I are having taco night. This is tilapia. Over here, we got some garbanzo beans and black beans. And then we made our own guac and tomatoes. And then of course, we've got some tortilla chips. be making one of my favorite soups, tendang jjigae. Um, I always have the ingredients for this soup. It's a great meal, it's a great snack, and I love it. So I changed my mind. I was making this soup and I was like, I actually don't want to eat this. I want something sweet. So I made myself an acai bowl. I'm still trying to figure out the consistency of it because it's like literally look, like, look, it's like a, a smoothie, not ideal. something a little bit more substantial and more delicious. Mm. I don't even know why I didn't just eat this to begin with. order at Domino's. It's the mushroom, onions, and spinach pizza. It goes great. It really does. And the pasta primavera. Just veggies and pasta. Mm. Good morning. Good morning. We are making almond flour pancakes. This is our first time ever making pancakes together. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, they're quite right. Lobster ravioli. By the way, this is not sponsored by HelloFresh at all. 
pay like a, a weekly subscription for this. We get so excited, we like plan our meals like a month ahead. We really, no, yeah, yeah, yeah that's I mean, true. We've been, we've been we've... looking forward to this one for about three weeks. big bowl of taenjang jjigae, a small bowl of brown rice. And then over here, I've got seaweed and sliced up cucumbers, and I'm gonna dip it in the coconut aminos. I'm just doing like a little bit of rice, and then I'm gonna load it with cucumbers. It'd been nice to have some avocado in here, but we don't have that. And I'm gonna dip it in the coconut aminos. Mmm. And I actually prefer coconut aminos to soy sauce with dip, this dipping situation because the coconut aminos is a lot sweeter. So it adds like a nice profile for this dish. Mm. I finished everything. I'm so full, but yeah, it's Sunday night. This is my last meal. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video of what I ate for the whole week. <laughs>